morning all, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. This is the second time I've tried to uh, film this little video. So I'm down at Batter Bay Beach. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning. It's about 20 minutes before the sun comes up and I've got like a pretty much sort of unspectacular sunrise going on. Um, I want to create something a bit more abstract and beautiful. So I'm going to shoot some pan shots. Uh, big shout out to Danny Stone for sharing these, this technique on his Instagram stories and um, yeah he's got some really nice pan shots on his page, go check him out. Uh, I shoot this a little bit just for fun, it's just like a fun different type of uh, photography that you can do during sunrise and sunset works best. So uh, basically all I'm going to do is just line my camera up with the sunrise and just do a, a, a pan like this, it's just a slow pan whilst doing like a slow shutter speed of about quarter of a second or eighth of a second, something like this. A couple of tips also would be to try and hit waves that are breaking uh, during your exposure. You can create these like really sort of beautiful abstract images that you can tell you're at the beach but when you look at it it's just like well, I remember the first time I saw it, and I was like, "How the, f how are they doing that? Like, what, what is the trick? It looks so cool." So, uh, yeah, once again, big shout out to Danny for sharing that technique. And um, here it is, guys, the pan shot. Uh, I'm gonna go. Well, obviously, ISO 100, shutter speed, shutter priority mode, quarter of a second. Uh, I'm on the 12 to 60. You can do it with any type of lens, but a bit of a longer lens works best. Usually I'd focus like on the breaking waves and then just click it to, to manual focus. Just so it doesn't hunt a really slow pan. And yeah, you just create these beautiful textured images are amazing it's not the it's not it's these ones aren't going to be that flash because there's just not much color in the sky but um that's the kicker like if you can just remember to shoot it during a beautiful pink sky that's when you're going to get the best results but you can still get some pretty good ones right now so uh oh and you can also shoot these on a tripod which i'm about to do and i've never done like, i always shoot these handheld Look at my dogs, they're going nuts. Look at this. Hey, be nice. Look, look. Sissy boy. Hey. Be nice. Kicking each other's ass. So yeah, um, all right, I'm gonna shoot a few landscape and then I'm gonna shoot a couple on the tripod and that's gonna be the video. So what happened, baby? I was thinking fighters have like a, a little waterfall there. And the eel, she was watching me in the water with these big eyes, crazy, <laughs> crazy to attack me. She was like, yeah, she was watching me. She was going to electrocute you, baby. And it, yeah, Electric she, eel. She was going to kill you. She was like, oh, I eat you morning breakfast. Stay away breakfast. from the dangerous eels, baby. Stay breakfast. away. Stay I was away. going, I was close to became so a breakfast for eel. <laughs> Shooting on a tripod, it's pretty easy. I've got a nice panning ball head. I've got the uh, horizon lined up. Basically, I'm just on a quarter of a second. And yeah, I'm just going to slowly pan, take the exposure as I'm panning. Actually, this is actually the first time I've shot pans on a tripod and it actually works so much better. So, 
Maybe I'll start doing this more often. Ready, ready, ready. Simple as this. Boom. Boom. And look. A very clean, beautiful image right there. That, that, that works so much better. I'm, I'm actually impressed. I don't think I'm going to shoot these handheld anymore. That works so much better. So, there you go. Fantastic shots on the tripod. Something to play with. I hope you like the, uh, the images, guys. So, I'm going to jump back into the computer now, just touch them up in, in Lightroom and Illumina, actually. Okay. Welcome to my Aussie studio. My head is currently framed in between two barbecues. Doesn't get much more Aussie than that. Let's edit these images from this morning. Now, first thing I want to mention is that I made a big mistake this morning. I forgot to shoot the images using these. So to get that uh, quarter of a second exposure, I was at F22, which creates a problem. All the sensor dust on your sensor shows up at F22 and this image is just absolutely covered in sensor dust. That's all right, we can fix it up in uh, Photoshop shortly. Let's get into it, all right. So, first thing I'm gonna do is hit Auto. I'm gonna change the profile to Adobe Landscape just to bring that saturation out. And I'm gonna add a radial filter over the sky and pump it full of color because at the moment it's actually quite boring and unsaturated, so. That's looking better. Let's send it over to Photoshop and I'm gonna use Content Aware Fill to delete all the sensor dust marks on the image. This took about 10 minutes. I've just sped it up for the sake of this, uh, this video. Now hit save and drop the image back into Lightroom and there's the clean TIFF file. That's looking pretty good. All right, so let's make this awesome. I'm going to send it over to a uh, program that I've been using lately. It's called Luminar 4. And the first thing I'm going to do once I'm inside Luminar 4 is uh, give that AI accent slider pump up and look at that. One slider. Look at that, how much it brings the, uh, the image to life. It's just amazing, really, to look at. Okay, what's next? Just going to knock that AI structure back a little bit just to soften up the image and I'm going to add a vignette and that's going to be it. Oh, the cool thing about the vignette in uh, Luminar, it's got this, uh, in the advanced settings, it's got this uh, inner light slider which just pumps brightness into the center of the vignette. So that's, that's a really nice feature which I use a fair bit on these type of images. So that's it. In one minute, guys, we've gone from this to this, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. A few final touches in Lightroom and that's the uh, finished product right there. Happy days. I'm happy with that one. Okay, so what do you do if you're forgetful like me and you go and shoot a bang of sunrise and you forget to shoot the pans? Well, there is a way to create pans uh, inside of Photoshop and I'll show you guys that right now. So I was down at the Skillion about two weeks ago shooting this seascape and uh, it was a beautiful sunrise but being Mr. Forgetful, I forgot to shoot pans. <laughs> now that's all right because look, look what you can do inside of Photoshop in just one click. That there is the uh, image I shot. Now we're going to turn that into this by using motion blur. Just hit blur, motion blur, pixels 2000, boom, look at that. You got yourself a beautiful pan. One button. How good's that? How good's Photoshop? So I'm just going to run that back through Luminar and here is the final result. Look at that. Boom. You didn't even have to shoot pans at all. <laughs> no, I still like shooting pants. So, look, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys really liked it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.